1223 will establish the Gun Violence Prevention, Healing, and Recovery Act and impose an excise tax upon licensed firearms dealers at a rate of 10% for the sale of handguns and 11% for the sale of long guns and ammunition to create a consistent funding mechanism towards the cost efficient and effective California Violence Intervention and Prevention Program known as CalVIP. Members, according to the Gun Violence Archive, in the first four months of 2021, 151 Americans have been killed due to gun violence. In just the month of March 2021, 66 Americans were killed by gun violence, including eight at a small business in Georgia, 10 at a grocery store in Colorado, and four Californians killed on March 31st at an office complex in Orange. Members, these are not statistics. They are human lives. Gun sales and incidents of gun violence have increased dramatically since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. 2020 saw a 46% increase in gun homicides, and January 2021 was the deadliest month for gun homicides since 2007. The CalVIP program is one of the most cost-effective community-based violence intervention programs in the state. Communities which received CalVIP funding during the 2018 cycle saw homicides decrease by three times more than those that did not receive CalVIP support. In 2019, these programs helped California reduce gun homicide among the high risk age group of 59, 15 to 29 years old to the lowest rate since 1970. These programs work. Gun violence will not end on its own. We must take responsible action to end the public health crisis that is gun violence in our state and across our country. And we see more and more incidents of gun violence. We must be reminded that we are neither helpless nor hopeless to end this ceaseless bloodshed. AB 1223 will provide a consistent funding source for the Calvet program needed to make critical investments that will reduce gun-related violence in our communities. I respectfully ask for your I vote.